Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email marketing campaign to do affiliate marketing using System. Now this is the second video in a series. If you missed the first video where I show you how to build an opt-in page and a bridge page, uh, you wanna click the link above and watch that video first, then come back to this one. All right guys, so we're back into system. We have the funnel that we made in the last video and the next thing you're gonna do is go up here to emails and click on where it says campaigns. So we're going to create a new campaign and we're just gonna name it video. Um, it's, you, you're the only one who sees this so it really doesn't matter. Um, create the campaign and the first thing you wanna do is select it and then you're gonna add an email um, and you're gonna add a few emails but we're obviously gonna start with one. Um, now this first box is your name, so when people receive your email, this is the name that they're going to see. So I'm just going to make it my full name. And now this is the part where you need to have a professional email address. I'm going to try to put it through first, and I don't think it's going to work. Um, but first I'm going to fill out the subject line. Um, this is going to be the first email you send out, so I'm just going to make it, let me introduce myself. And then I recommend using the classic editor. The visual editor is pretty complex. There's a lot of a uh, just a lot of fancy things that you don't need. I recommend the classic editor. You can just send text and you can even add photos if you want. It's much simpler to deal with. But I'm gonna to try to create this. I don't think it's gonna work. Um, yeah, you can't use a Yahoo account when you're sending emails. Um, you also can't use a Gmail account. You do need to own a domain name for um, sending out professional emails. I recommend going through Google domains. I was able to buy my domain through Google and I'm able to create as many professional emails as I want. So I'm going to just put in one that I already have. It's jacob at earningsclick.com. This is the domain I own. So by using this, this is a professional email address. Um, this way they'll actually let me uh, send emails from that, from that address. If you try to send emails from a Yahoo or a Gmail, it won't work. So you do need to own a domain in order to, in order to do this properly. Now the email editor is pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward. You're basically just writing emails that are going to be sent out to the people who opt into your list. I do have a bunch of email scripts you can use. Uh, depending on the product you're promoting, most affiliate programs will give you a pre-created uh, series of emails that you can simply copy and paste and then of course add your affiliate link into the script. Um, so I have a bunch of emails you can use. I'm going to have this Google document actually linked below in the video description, so go ahead and check that out. These videos are, or these email scripts are made to promote Legendary Marketer specifically, um, so if that's a product you're going to promote, it'll work perfectly well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this email, copy the whole thing um, except for the subject line, and I copied that, go back over here to System, and we'll just paste it. Um, yeah, we have the whole email here. Um, you can obviously change the text. You would just uh, select it and you could go here, change the text size, um, the size of the text here again. Um, you can make any adjustments you want. If you want to bold anything, italicize or underline anything, you can change the color of the font. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm not going to do any of that in this video, um, but feel free to go through your email and make it look as nice as you want it to look. Um, so the most important part, you want to go through and make sure the links are correct. Um, so we're going to uh, delete this part where it says link back to sales page. Um, and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. So what you want to do is highlight this and you go over here where it has the little chain link and that's where you would put your affiliate link in. So you want to make sure it's your affiliate link there. So I'm going to go back up to uh, Legendary Marketer. Uh, we're on the Affiliates tab here, go into Funnels business challenge, go to affiliate links, and then again you want to go down and find the sales page and copy this link so it's your affiliate link. Go back to the email editor and enter your um, affiliate link. So when people receive the email and they click the link, it's going to bring them to the sales page. Um, and then go through, obviously you want to take this out and you want to put in your name. Um, go through and it's a little bit about a story so you want to in, um, include your own personal story obviously like here it says share a quick story about being overworked or underpaid um, you can insert a picture of yourself that shows you working hard um, that's simple enough to do 
just go up here to add attachment I believe um, and you can actually no that's adding files and attachments like that to add a photo you actually just click here click this button here you can upload a photo you can upload I think as many photos as you want so it's pretty simple you just go in here and um, pick whatever photos you want like here's a picture of me so there's the photo um, it's pretty big so we probably want to make it a little smaller and you just drag that and you see you can quickly add photos um, into your emails and then obviously you want to write your story there um, just go through and make everything looks good um, you know just make sure you have uh, your links correctly like right here you want to add your affiliate link again so you go up to the link here delete the link that's already there and then add your affiliate link and then take this out just delete that thanks for reading cheers your name okay and that's the email obviously you can add edit change anything you want I recommend going through and putting things in your own words uh, you really want to make it sound like it's you speaking to your audience if your whole email sequence is just copied and pasted and you didn't make any um, personal touches it's not going to resonate as well with your readers um, so I definitely recommend going through and uh, rewriting some things putting it putting things into your own words all right, so after we've gone through the first email, um, you can do save and send a test email just to make sure it looks good. You can send it to, um, so it, it automatically sent to my personal inbox. Um, so I'll check that out later. Obviously, you can check yours out, uh, make sure it looks good. And we're just going to hit save, or we already saved it. Um, also, I want to hit save and publish to make sure the email is actually sending out. And then you um, send out the delay. So if you want it to send out an hour after people opt in, that's fine. You could do it zero hours so it gets sent out right away. And then for each subsequent email in the sequence, I recommend um, at least a day in between. I wouldn't send more than one email a day. And you can, you can even take um, every other day if you want. Um, you can even turn off certain days if you don't want to send emails on Sunday. But I recommend just one email a day. That works pretty well. Um, and obviously each subsequent email is going to be the next day. So just make sure you have the numbers going in order. And that's going to be it for this email. And then you add as many emails as you want. I have all the scripts here. Again, this, uh, the link to this document is going to be in the description box. And you have all these email scripts you can work with. Um, just make sure you put your own affiliate links in each email. Um, now, there's one more very important step I'm going to go over. So don't exit the video yet. So we went back into funnels. We're going to select the funnel that we made. Uh, this is super important. If you don't do this, people will not receive your emails. You have to go into automation rules when you're on the squeeze page and you want to add an action and subscribe to campaign. If you don't do this, then when people put their email in on your opt-in page, it's not going to do anything. But when you select this, it will automatically subscribe any emails into the campaign that you select. So we just made the campaign called video and now it's done. We just want to make sure we hit save rule. And now when people actually enter their email onto the squeeze page right here, it will actually put it onto your email list and they'll start receiving your emails. All right, I have one more tip before I end the video. Now, after you set up your sequence of emails, I recommend about seven to 10 emails. You want to keep an eye on your open rate here and your click through rate. If these are, if you have a low open rate, then that means that you need to write a better headline on your email so people actually open it. And if your click through rate is low, that means you need to write a better email itself so people actually click on the links inside. Um, a good open rate is honestly about 25% and a good click through rate is anywhere from two to 3%. If you can hit those numbers, then you should be in pretty good shape. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you don't mind smashing the like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, I really appreciate that. And consider subscribing to watch more videos like these.